Hard Finds Poker Party. I'm coming to you from uh, LA. LA. With my special guest, Dominic Priori. Hi, Dom. Hi. Hi, dude. And the fabulous A Bones. Take it away. Bones all the way from uh, Brooklyn, New York, and uh, places around New York City. We're very happy to have him here. This is actually uh, Billy and Miriam's second appearance on the show. You know, I'm going to talk to you guys in a minute, but let's do another number first. You got another song for us? Yeah, how about a slide? Yeah, well, speak that into the mic and tell us the name of it again. All right. This goes out to all the water skiing fans, especially the ones who don't know how to do it properly. but this is actually uh, not being done on a 48-track recording. It's uh, being done on a two-track. Um, there's the A-Bones out of New York City, some uh, good friends of ours. Uh, happy to be here for the 376th uh, poker party. Uh, let's talk to the band members a little bit. Uh, actually, the lead singer is Billy Miller from uh, New York City, uh, one of the co-editors of Kix magazine, which uh, I got right here. It's a special... special Rock and Roll Fanatics magazine out of uh, New York that sold all over the world. Cool mag. Uh, and behind him on drums, Miriam Lina is his uh, partner in crime at Kicks and a uh, longtime rock and roll supporter. So listen, let me uh, let me pass the mic around. Just take it left to right and uh, talk to Bruce Bennett on guitar first. No, not here. Let me, let me go over that one. Thank you, the other Bruce Bennett. Yeah. Bruce Bennett was Hi. <laughs> yeah, Herman Bricks. What's on your mind, Art? Uh, I got a couple standard questions. Uh, one is, what is the uh, first record you ever bought, Bruce? Uh, the first record I ever bought was the LP of the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly original motion picture soundtrack. So, Hugo not Hugo Montenegro, but yeah. a different one. Uh, okay, what about the first uh, rock concert you went to? 
Oh, boy. I hope it's bad. I have to tell you. Yeah, I hope it's embarrassing. Uh, Loggins and Messina <laughs> yeah. rope. Now, to my defense, I, you know, there was a girl that I had a big crush on that wanted to go to it. I went uh -huh. with her. And Henry yeah. Gross is actually really great. Oh, I like Henry Gross. No. He did uh, Surf Instrument. Yeah. Kind of weird. No, I like his first album a lot on A&M. I think it's uh, really maybe, good. Maybe. Second album, sorry. Uh, I, I like the back of the girl's head. Together. Talk about Queen, yeah. Okay. Uh, about it. Okay, well, uh, thanks a lot, Bruce. Hey, you're welcome, Art. Anytime. <laughs> The Great Dane, Lars. Lars Espenson. How you doing, man? All right. Uh, what about the first record you bought? Uh, that was uh, Boy Named Sue, uh -huh. Johnny Cash. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, what about the first rock show you saw of any significance? Man, I don't even, I can't even remember. Why, you been going to them all your life? Or, or you no. were? Uh, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the first one you were paid money for then in that case. Uh, what? How about the you first? Paid money for some concerts, some like you laid out cash. Now you got to remember laying out yeah, cash. Yeah, well, local dances around where I went, grew up. Yeah. God, well, that's okay. Answer, okay. Good enough. <laughs> uh, Mark or Marcus the Carcass, uh, as we're told to call you. How you doing? How you doing? First record. Well, I don't exactly recall exactly what first record I bought, but I remember my mother brought home Dave Park Five uh, record for me. Uh huh. Okay. And and, and that <laughs> <laughs> We've had Freddie on the show, actually. Uh, what, um, what's the first? My older brother had a garage band. They were playing at Halston High School in the early 60s. And what town? In gymnasium, Halston, Massachusetts. Halston? Halston. Halston. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. Thanks a lot. I guess uh, there's no way to get, uh, well, I'm actually going to walk over and do this. I've never done this before. But let's get Miriam into the picture and say, uh, hi, what, what, how are you doing, Miriam? Oh, you got your own microphone. What am I doing this for? Hi, Jesus Christ. Come closer. I don't know. This is Come back. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Miriam, what was the first record you bought? Um, I hope it was probably something. Probably over in the meadow by some kind of serenaders on a on a yellow plastic thing with ducks on it and stuff. Okay, how about the first rock and roll record? Hmm. That's a tough one. I, I, I really can't recall. Okay. All right. So what about the first rock and roll show? You remember that? Yes. Um, I was strictly forbidden from going to uh, any kind of fun kind of event as a uh -huh. child. But the first thing I went to, my friend Char dragged me to a Wixy, W-I-X-Y, Cleveland uh, rock and roll show that had a bunch of real loser bands like um, The Boys and uh, Shanana was a big thing. Uh -huh. uh, so that was like... That was Later it. on, and not a big thrill. Well, all that's, I did get trampled a little bit, so that was But all, all that suppression of your natural rock and roll instincts is, has, uh, look how it's flowered. I mean, it's a good thing that they, they, they stymied you as a, as a youth. That's right, that's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, A-Bones are, oops, sorry. Whoa. Hey, Dom, how you doing? Good. Uh, A-Bones are, uh, this is your own record label, Norton Records out of uh, Brooklyn. Uh, this is their new record. I was a teenage mummy by the A-Bones. You guys are still pressing records, huh? You know it. I mean, you are. You have dipped into the uh, CD. No, we've made two CDs so far. Out of a uh, catalog of how many records? Uh, about 30. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right. Well, you got to, I mean, what are you going to do? You can't uh, fight City Hall. I mean, so, you're going to. Yeah, our batting average is about the same as most of the Dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah, the L.A. Reaver will get you for that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Oh, by the way. Hey, they were from Brooklyn at one time, Billy, so uh, and kiss my you-know-what. So, uh, by the way, oh, that uh, could be the, the young the young man on the portacam. I was wondering if you could take a picture of, of uh, Bruce's. Uh, <laughs> that would be Dave Adamson. I was wondering if you could take a picture of this young man's uh, reverb unit down here on the floor because I think it's a pretty interesting thing, Bruce. What year is this Echoplex? Let's take a look at that Echoplex top first of all because it's it's kind of neat looking. Well, now he's going to split his attention. You got to put it put it back down there. That's an Echoplex reverb. Now, now, what is that thing going on? That's a tape loop? Uh, yeah, it's a tape loop. It's about as analog as you get. Um, <laughs> it was, it's actually his previous owner. One of his previous owners was none other than Eddie Van Halen. Really? Cody bought it for one show that he did on Saturday Night Live. I don't know why I'm telling you. That's an interesting looking thing. How old is yeah, it? It's really weird stuff coming off of it when I bought it. I don't know. I have no idea. It's oh. completely reconditioned when, uh, when the, the Hailmeister got it. Uh, Nate thinks so you That's got it. actually the cassette of the session guitarist. Hmm. And Bruce just kind of... It's, it's what we call oh, back east a talent substitute, Art. Uh, okay. Uh, by the way, Lars, you don't happen to have a shirt, do you? I got a feeling like the white shirt is going to be uh, glare, is uh, kind of making everybody else darker. I have another white shirt. You have another white shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We'll have a disparity in uh, brightness. Uh, I guess that happens in every group, though. Uh, what? Uh, why don't you guys? Uh, well, if one, I could make like shadow figures on them. Uh, that'd be okay too. Uh, a bones, why don't you uh, take it away with another song, and we'll get Dominic in the next round of conversation. How about that, Jim? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
the day is too damn. What's the name of that one? That Jim. It's the A-Bones. Uh,